operating instructions des9 the generator with our queen and shift it to the service truck. Generator exit from the factory gate to your house. Let me take you on a trip. Let me take you on a ride. ride. by pressing the handle down. Step 2. Switch on this button by moving it in up direction and wait for 5 seconds. Step 3. Switch on the generator with green button. Understanding Control Panel Display screen has 6 displays. You can change them all by pressing next button. Number 1 VR Voltage GF Generator Frequency Voltage Set default by factory between 180 to 280 volts. Over voltage made the red light on in front of OV and under voltage made the red light on in front of UV. In both cases, call customer care. Generator frequency is set between 45 to 55. Over frequency on the red light in front of OF. Under frequency on the red light in front of UF. In both cases, call customer care. And do not try to start generator for safety purpose. Display second. IR. Current. Direct current. Current pass set as by factory default. If more or less current passes, it will switch on the red light. That indicates overload. Display third. PR. Pressure. Temp. Temperature. Pressure is set by factory default only and if it fluctuates, red light in front of LLOP it will get on which means no lubricating oil pressure. Temperature of generator in summer should be 40 degrees Celsius and in winter it should be 30 degrees Celsius. While running generator, temperature should not above 100 degrees Celsius. Otherwise, red light in front of HWD will get on, which means high water temperature. Yeah. 
डिस्प्ले फाइव एच आर आर इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट द जनरेटर रनिंग आर्स टू कैलकुलेट एक्चुअल आर्स और टू कन्वर्ट आर्स फ्रॉम पॉइंट्स टू मिनट जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई योर पॉइंट विद सिक्स टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू मिनट एंड यू विल गेट एक्चुअल आर्स डिस्प्ले सिक्स सर्विस टाइम आर but it is not getting stopped number 1 emergency stop stop by pressing the emergency stop button which is in red on the front part of generator if it is not getting stopped with emergency stop button then there is bypass stop handle which is there in the engine of generator bypass stop just pull this handle in your direction to stop the generator immediately regular check up number 1 regularly check the mobile oil in your generator like this is of low oil oil should be between these two marks number 2 radiator water level radiator water should be between Starting the generator, but it is not yet started. Number one, check the LED lights below display panel. There are twelve LED lights in total below display panel. If any light from this eight LED is on, then you should call customer care. need not try to run generator if other four lcd are running then these action has to be taken emergency if emergency red led light is on then it means your emergency stop button is remained press and you need to rotate it in the arrow directions low fuel you need to insert diesel with the help of key load try to have less load by switching off the heavy appliances rwl radiator water level check the water level in radiator 
it should be between minimum and maximum point. Otherwise, you need to fill water in this. Even if these lights remain on, then you need to call customer care. Check the direct current. In display menu number 2, direct current should be minimum 12 volts. If it is more than 12 volts, then battery is required to be changed. FIP Pump up the fuel injection pump. If fuel is inserted after full completion, then sometimes it takes air in it. And to remove this air, you need to just pump up the FIP from here. Generator starts but not in good speed. Air filter is required to be checked by red mark. If it is red, air filter should be clean. For this, call customer care.